Hey BT Sport, this is Ian Balshaw from Beer Ritz. Unfortunately I'm injured at the moment, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you guys around town and take you behind the scenes of our game against Montpellier. It's 11 o'clock, we have a, a thing called a mise en place, which is basically a team run uh, when we play at 6.30 in the evening. Fitness trainer Thibaut Russell Giroux. <laughs> The new journalist of French rugby. <laughs> whoa, 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 what's this guy doing? Out the way, mate, out the way. <laughs> Guys, now just getting through some attack moves. Oh, well, we know we're back on defense, we lost the line out. Perfect. Comment ça va, Yash? En anglais? Oui. Montpellier is very, a very big team. Uh, with a lot of uh, international players. It's a very high level, so a lot of things, but I hope we will win. As you can see, the tapas bars are getting busy just before the game. My favorite restaurant in Biritz, where I used to come when I lived in the center all the time, is Barjon. Loads of tapas, lively, vibrant. Welcome to the French way of life. Okay, we've just arrived at the hotel at three o'clock. Um, this is Monsieur Blanco's hotel where we come before every home game. Here we eat, have a coffee, uh, and just relax before we leave for the ground. Got its own lake, which has humongous carping and hippos. <laughs> Here they are. Just chilling out before the game. Some of them listen to Radio Walkmans, playing their Game Boys, others play cards, the old French guys play cards, have coffees, the boys sleeping. Tu prends combien pour faire ça? Pas mal. <laughs> <laughs> he asks me how much money I'm earning from this. I do, I do it for the love of the game, I tell him. Okay, we've arrived at the ground. Uh, when the boys arrive, they come in from over there and they make the walk across the field to the changing rooms. This is John O, our kit man. He's been here for... <laughs> Merci, mon ami. <laughs> this is where he, uh, after victories, he hides his stash of drinks. Just down here. A celebratory drink at the end of the game. Through here is where they are getting strapped. People started coming into the stadium, chilling out on the grass, having a few beers, a few tapas, uh, before the game starts. Bonjour, madame. Hola. Hola. Uh, C'est possible je peux avoir the sausage tea? Solo. I forgot they're actually Spanish. They look very tasty. And you have them with chocolate, which uh, I don't know how that works. It looks good. This is typically Basque. Gracias. I'm out. It's a very hard uh, test for us today, but uh, we have to win. Second match at home. We lose uh, last week, so today there is uh, no choice. Le gros, il est resté par terre, au milieu du terrain, sur le premier, il n'est pas tombé du bon côté. J'en veux donc comme ça, j'en veux donc, il a eu deux. 
Well, uh, not a good game for the heartstrings, but we came through. We uh, kicked a penalty at the end uh, to win the game. Close match, struggled in the first half, but we didn't get it together really. Too many errors, too many lineouts lost, too many uh, turnovers. In the second half, we had the win behind us, played in their half, and uh, came up with a win. Oh, well, we win. It's the most important thing. You feel okay? Disappointed. Of course, mate. A few glasses of red wine, they'll be roll on next week, mate. Good for the com it's a good win for the confidence. Well done, mate, well played. Thank you. Okay, um, just arrived home. Uh, after a long day, a good day. Uh, we had a good win. Um, and a very enjoyable day filming. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I'll uh, look forward to seeing you all soon. Uh, I'll fight now with the team to uh, have a bit of tapas and a bit of red wine. And we'll uh, see where we go from there. Take care.